the Warwick Castle trebuchet built in 2005 is fired on a daily basis throughout the season. It is reputed to be the largest siege engine of its type in the world and stands tall at 18 metres and it weighs in at a staggering 22 tonnes. It's made up of 300 individual components and usually fires a round of some 15 kilos in weight at a speed of up to 150 miles an hour. Though it's actually capable of firing around 10 times this. The main throwing force of the machine is derived when this, the throwing arm, made of ash, is pulled down by the counterweight, a one ton box filled with five tons of rocks and rubble. To lift this box into position, first of all, a crew is placed into the wheels at the sides of the trebuchet. And once in hamster mode, they begin to walk and wind the wheels, which wraps a rope around the central axle between the two wheels, to pull the firing arm down into the firing position. Meanwhile, the axle is now being bound up tight with the rope. So once the throwing arm has reached its point of firing and is locked off into position, the rope that is now tightly bound around the central axle, as we can see here, needs to be wound back off. If this is not wound back off, then once the trebuchet is fired, it will literally tear itself apart. Alternative methods of pulling the arm down to the firing position. Well, you could always use animals, cows or horses. Or, as in this instance, you could cheat and use a tractor. Which, and let's be honest, there weren't many tractors around in medieval times. Oh, er. Once the arm is in the firing position, it's locked off with a firing pin. And also, a safety chain is engaged so that the machine can't misfire. The sling is then attached to the end of the throwing arm and placed in a trough where it is to be loaded with a shot. During medieval sieges the trebuchets were used to fire more than just rocks. They could fire just about anything from beehives to dead animals. They could even fire fire, but we'll see that later. Once loaded, the trebuchet master checks that everything is ready for firing and sets the trigger. He removes the safety chain, all is live and ready to go. Final checks made, he puts on his tin app and retires to a safe distance and lets the audience take over with the countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six. And there it goes. Hundred and fifty miles an hour. Death from above, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest trebuchet in the world. We are.